Okay, so people have been asking me why I stopped making videos on this YouTube channel. Now, first, I do want to mention that I am still mining with my GPUs, but I did scale down a lot as GPU mining doesn't even cover the cost of electricity, but it does provide heat to my place when it gets cold. Now, there are several reasons I stopped making videos for this YouTube channel, but one of the main reasons is I didn't like the sponsorship offers I was getting on this channel. Another reason is time as I am quite busy and I am more passionate in making other types of videos as my true passion is gaming. Now, don't get me wrong. I did learn a lot from creating this channel as this is my first YouTube channel, but I did create another YouTube channel that is actually doing great for the niche I am in and starting new. And because of my job and my other YouTube channel, I didn't really have time to make videos on this channel. And another reason is that I am a GPU miner and GPU mining is not profitable. Now I may make some update videos here and there for this YouTube channel because I don't really want to waste this channel. Okay, so one reason I stopped making videos on this channel was because of the sponsorship offers I've been getting on this channel. And if anyone watched my live streams videos I did back on Twitch, I shared a lot of the sponsorship offers I got and the reasons I declined them. Now, I'm not going to name any specific companies, but the main sponsorship offers I was getting and still getting now for some reason, even though I stopped making videos, is selling miners, promoting mining programs and services, promoting mining pools, promoting crypto exchanges, and even promoting crypto coins. So first, I didn't feel comfortable selling miners because there's no way to know if you're going to even make your money back, especially with ASICs. Just be aware that every three to six months, a new ASIC comes out and the difficulty rises and they wanted me to promote that you'll make your money back plus more and share some crazy profits, even though I know the profits will drastically drop once the miners are sold because of difficulty. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of individuals that made their money back and made profits with their miners, but just be aware that more than likely, and I'm just guessing like 90 to 95% of individuals who bought miners either lost money or barely broke even. Now, there are millions of individuals that are mining. So even if only 5 to 10% of individuals made money, that still amounts to a lot of individuals that profited. But there are even more individuals who lost money or barely broke even. Now, I had a family member who bought an ASIC for like 10 grand. And when he first heard about it and bought it, the break even was about four months. Now, of course, he didn't get the ASIC right away and had to wait for the next batch, which was about two months because of shipping. And when he finally got the ASIC miner, the break even drastically increased to 10 months and then just two months later the break even turned into two years and the reason why is that asics are sent in huge batches which drastically increases the mining difficulty so just be aware that people who are advertising these asics and the profits are getting these asics way before anyone else gets them and that's why the profits seem so high initially so by the time my cousin got his asics everyone else got their asics as well and the mining difficulty drastically increased and by that point the break even point changed and then a newer and better ASIC was announced and he was pissed and I don't want my friends or family members to fall for this trap because there's an old saying when it comes to mining which is why sell your miners if it will make you more money mining compared to selling it so the reason these ASIC companies are selling these ASICs is more than likely they already have a better ASIC developing or already produced and need to sell their older miners before selling the newer ones and you might not remember the D3 ASIC miners when they first came out the break-even point was less than one month you were earning like three thousand dollars a day and once the first batch was released, the break even jumped to like two years. And just a week later, the break even was like 10 years if you had free electricity or you were losing money if you paid electricity. Basically, the D3 miners were dead on arrival once the first batch was released. And a lot of people lost money. Now, these numbers might not be totally accurate, but I remember it was something crazy like that. And for example, even right now, if you try to buy one of the top ASIC miners at the break even point is less than six months, more than likely you will have to wait for the next batch to get it. And by then the mining difficulty will drastically change and it will be more like two years till you break even and if you get your asic miner everyone else probably got their asics as well so just wait a month or two and you'll see the difficulty and profits will be a lot different from before so just be aware that most asic break even points are at least minimum one and a half years to two years for most people it really depends on your electricity cost you shouldn't be expecting to break even on your asics in less than six months unless you're one of the lucky people who got the asics a lot earlier than everyone else. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have cheap electricity, a facility, and the upfront cost, then ASICs will be more beneficial for you. But I'm just talking about home mining and mining as a hobby compared to running a business. Now, the only thing that can save this situation is if we have another crazy bull run like in 2021, where a lot of crypto coins jump more than 500% or even more for some other crypto coins. Now, I'm not saying it will not happen because it definitely can. But at that point, it's just like gambling. And if you try to buy an ASIC miner when that happens, the ASIC miner 
miners will increase in price more than five times likely as well. I remember there were a lot of people who bought ASICs for cheap before the crypto boom and just resold it when the boom happened instead of mining with their ASICs and they made more money and the same thing happened with GPUs. Now I don't want to get into the calculations and profits but I highly recommend to just pull up a mining calculator and there are plenty of mining calculators you can use on the internet and use the calculators instead of just looking at the profits in videos because profits change daily. Now there are people who want to get into mining because they like the technology and the concept of mining but most people who get into mining is because of profits so if i personally buy a miner i feel like it's gambling and i wouldn't be expecting to make profits unless i'm lucky but for you do what you feel like doing so if you want to buy a miner go ahead but just make sure you're in a suitable situation for mining so if i had really cheap electricity a facility and the upfront cost mining with asics could be really profitable but there is still a risk depending on what coin i'm mining if the price of the coin will increase or decrease because crypto is very volatile and no one knows what's going to happen in the future and here's a quick history lesson and if you're in the united states then you probably heard of the california gold rush but basically the california gold rush was a period when hundreds of thousands of people migrated to california to mine gold and only a few people made money from mining gold and it was the people who were mining before everyone else got there and it got huge and the only people who made millions were the people selling the shovels the gear the other mining tools the hotels near the area and even the people transporting people there majority of people who were actually mining gold made nothing and lost their life savings and i feel like this is somewhat a similar situation and another sponsorship I was getting a lot was promoting mining programs and services, promoting mining pools, promoting crypto exchanges, and even promoting crypto coins. Now, personally, I didn't feel comfortable to tell people what to do when it came to crypto because crypto is still unknown and no one knows the future of crypto. And even though I believe in crypto and its future, those are my beliefs. And I recommend you to do your own research and you come to your own conclusion. When it comes to minor programs, some work better than others. Some have higher fees, but it is more simple and more convenient, and some just don't work work for some people so when choosing a miner program just use the one that works and that is most comfortable for you and the same goes with mining pools and crypto exchanges now when it comes to promoting unknown or new crypto coins i personally feel like most or even all of them are scams or rug pulls and i stick with the original old school crypto coins like bitcoin ethereum and litecoin now i do own these coins so you might feel like i'm being biased on these coins but i always stuck with these coins from the beginning now some people will like these new unknown crypto coins and they may be the future and you might be totally right about them but with previous experience and just doing some research a lot of these coins were scams and rug pulls so with these new unknown coins please just do the research and if something sounds too good to be true then it more than likely is for example if a coin offers that is stable safe and you will gain more than 30 percent earn interest monthly then more than likely it's a scam because that is unheard of and too good to be true now even though these companies were offering me money and free miners i just personally didn't need the money and I didn't want ASIC miners. Now, I was trying to get sponsorships from like GPU manufacturers or even any mobile games because everyone knows taking sponsorship from mobile games is just taking the bag and they're not really interested in the mobile game and the viewers support that. And when I reached out to the GPU manufacturers, they said that crypto was not a suitable sponsorship for them and creates a bad image. So that's when I realized your niche really matters for sponsorship and not just your YouTube analytics. Another reason I stopped making videos for this channel is time and I wanted to start another YouTube channel and make videos that I was more passionate about. When I make videos, I plan it out, write a script and do tons of editing and this takes a lot of time and with a job, I didn't have time to focus on two YouTube channels. Now I am starting to get sponsorships that I want from my other YouTube channel and it will only get better as I make more videos. I'm not going to share my other YouTube channel here because if I get subscribers and viewers who are not interested in my other channel, it will actually hurt my other YouTube channel because returning viewers and retention plays a huge role when YouTube recommends videos. But if you're into gaming, you might find my other YouTube channel. And if you do, I hope you enjoy. And another reason I stopped making videos is because GPU mining is not profitable. I really enjoy GPU mining, but here in the United States, I pay 11 cents per kilowatt hours. And with this electricity cost, GPU mining is not profitable in the most case. Now, a coin that I am GPU mining may get a bump in price and may be a tiny bit profitable, but it's still pennies compared to before. And personally, I never liked ASICs for home mining due to the heat and noise. And as a home miner, I didn't want to annoy my neighbors and other people around me. I feel like ASIC miners are more meant for facilities facilities or if your place is secluded from people. So really quickly, here's an example of a mining farm that is annoying his neighbor. 
It's the sound of 17,000 computer fans in a Bitcoin facility next door. This caused problems for me with my hearing, my blood pressure, with the sweetheart where she gets migraine headaches. Neighbor Shane Markison takes frequent decibel readings. 82 was the highest number. 82? 90 is a hair dryer. Right. The residents can't even move away. I don't know who'd want to buy my house or buy my place, you know, with this kind of uh, noise. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually like this person having a Bitcoin mining farm here in the United States because it's better than having all the mining farms in China. So I support this. But all this guy had to do is soundproof his mining facility and no one would complain. So yeah, if you had something like this, but you soundproofed it with really cheap electricity, then it will be profitable mining with ASICs. But you'll need a lot of money up front to even start. And the electricity price has been constantly rising. Just be aware when I started mining back in 2017, my electricity cost was in the lower end of 10 cents per kilowatt hours but over the years it has been slightly increasing and i know in other parts of the world electricity cost has been increasing drastically now when i first started mining i used to have an amp miner l3 plus asic which was one of the first litecoin miners but the noise and the heat it produced was not enjoyable to have at my home so i sold it and since then i stuck with gpu mining as gpus were a lot easier and cheaper to get when i started mining and the heat and the noise was bearable and no neighbors complained and i personally like building GPU mining rigs as I built many gaming computers. So I already had the knowledge of building GPU mining rigs. Basically, you're just building a regular computer, but just adding more GPUs to it, which then it turns into a GPU mining rig. Now, if GPU mining ever comes back, and I hope one day it does, I will share more updates. But for now, in my situation, and it may be different from yours, but for me, it's better for me to just buy the coin instead of mining if I want to support the coin. Now I might get tons of dislikes and negative comments in this video because a lot of people who bought miners might feel discouraged. But like I mentioned before, you might get lucky and make profits down the road. We might have a crazy bull run like before. No one knows the future of crypto, but I personally believe in it. But I highly recommend you to do your own research and for you to come to a conclusion. And I may upload more videos here in the future, but I am more focused on my other YouTube channel. I do want to thank everyone who's with me in this journey and for all the support. It was really fun and maybe one Day GPU mining might come back, so good luck out there. And of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you.